Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Just a quick one this morning, uh, we do have a full uh, beta series let's play later on, we're going to build a lemur exhibit, uh, but I wanted to try something, I've been thinking about this one for a couple of days now. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, whilst we were waiting for the Planet uh, zoo beta to drop uh, we play some zoo tycoon the old school zoo tycoon like back in 2001 i think it was uh, actually have a disc that i found out in the attic and uh, got it down dusted it off well, not, well i don't have an attic now i live in an apartment but from the old house back in the uk <laughs> i bought it with me uh, managed to get it running it's it was a bit hard work but eventually got it going on windows 10 and uh, we had a great we had great fun playing it for a few weeks uh, whilst we got ready for planet zoo and um it brought us so many memories oh my god i used to love that game never really played zoo tycoon 2 for some reason well actually i know the reason is because we never really had a very good computer when i was growing up um same reason why i was a big fan of roller coaster tycoon 1 and 2 but never really played roller coaster tycoon 3 as soon as those games went to three dimensions uh, i really struggled and it wasn't until couple of years ago really that I was, I was sort of back into pc gaming with something that wasn't a potato um so yeah it was really great to see all those memories and one thing i really loved in the original was the uh, was the fantastic architecture it was a gorgeous pixel art obviously um but it was really uh, beautifully painted and uh, one of the buildings that really sticks out as being quite iconic for me is the giraffe house and that's what we're having a go at building here um first of all though i need to let you know at the end of this there are no giraffes <laughs> um, i'm building this in what was originally the career modes the one with bernie and and, uh, and nancy and all that i've completely leveled it out i, I spent the best part of an hour and a half clearing it getting rid of all the animals getting rid of all the benches took the longest the benches and the trash cans took about 45 minutes just to get rid of all of them because there's no way to multi-select them you've got to sit and click and delete and click and delete Ugh. anyway eventually cleared it all out and basically it almost gives you a sandbox it gives yourself 200 odd grand to play with and um and as much space as you need and um the only real problem is you don't have any of those uh the leaf coins that's what they're called we're all calling them leaves aren't we so they're going to be called leaves um yeah we haven't got any of the leaves and um they're really hard to get in this because you have to kind of breed stuff. well not really hard to get but it takes a lot of time uh, and the only animals on the on the trade center are leaf animals here oh no i think you can buy some rubbishy ones but yeah i think to get like a giraffe for instance you're buying it with leaves um which we don't have so it may well be that i just use this now for some building okay um but even still I had quite a bit of fun doing this amazing considering this is quite a boxy building and if you've been watching the videos you know for a fact that i try and avoid boxy stuff if possible but you know i'm trying to replicate the original here so that kind of happens um but yeah, it's quite a boxy building. It was actually quite tricky to do, and that's mostly because trying to get the scale right uh, using the in-game wall pieces was a bit tricky. But also, the grid's just off, and people commented on the reptile house saying, oh no, you're just building it wrong. I'm not, look, look, just there, you can see that if you duplicate a couple of pieces at once, it sends them off the grid. It does a really weird thing. Trust me, I know. I've, spent, I've got like nearly 2,000 hours in Planet Coaster. I know how this system works. And I know when it doesn't do what I want it to do. And it's very frustrating. Um, but yeah, so we got there in the end. It was mostly, usually at least, a case of just sort of coming out of the building and going back in and... Uh, you can kind of you can kind of get there, but yeah, I just I saw the draft building in Zuzaku, and I was like, I just think we can totally do that. Even down to these big chunky logs that they have, um, and then there's like windows in the side. One thing I really wanted to make sure I did, uh, which you can see me do here, I think, is I wanted real windows in it. Now you could quite easily just place some of the fake windows there's like two sets of windows in this game you've got uh, actual panels of glass that you can see through and then you also have the uh, the windows akin more to the planet coaster windows that are for show that just kind of go on a building now in a theme park those windows are quite common the, the fake windows you get them a lot if you look at something like disney's main street for instance most of the windows uh, after the ground floor are, are fake doesn't happen so much in in zoos pretty much windows are well, they, they, what they meant, they let you do what you're meant to do, which is look through buildings. Um, so it's good that they bought glass ones in, but it's nice that we've got some fake ones as well, just in case we do kind of struggle with uh, where to place them. But here, I thought, you know what, if you do use this, uh, you know, animals are going to be running in and out of it, and you're going to want to be able to keep an eye on them. So 
uh, I did make sure that we use real windows, uh, which took a little bit of time. Luckily, the plaster that we're using here has a full set of uh, off-grid pieces to fill in gaps and stuff. Really awesome. I I'd love to see that happen with all the wall sets. I, I don't imagine it will, but it would be really handy if it did. Um, and then we're doing uh, around the door here. So again, I haven't actually got a giraffe to scale to, but the Zoopedia says that they get to 5.4 meters and this archway here is around about eight meters. So they should have no problem getting in and out of it. I'm saying all this like you can use this if you want to, but unfortunately my game doesn't allow me to save blueprints. It crashes every time I try and save a blueprint. I'm making this stuff on the weird hope that they that we get like a beta patch this week maybe that fixes it and if we do i'll throw them all up on the workshop uh, if not i might look at recreating some of them whether i recreate this i don't know whilst it was a quite a fun challenge um, and it was quite fun to reminisce of the old zoo tycoon i think it, it, it has turned out a little boxy and a little plain um, just because of how the original art style worked um, so whilst it was fun to do i'm not too sure whether i'm going to do a whole series of these like rebuilding stuff from the old games um yeah so, but yeah, this uh, I would love to put some of the some of the other shelters that I built uh, on the workshop for you folks because a few of you have asked now, especially the warthog one that we did the other day. A lot of people have said they'd love that, uh, but at the moment, unfortunately, I just I can't add stuff to the to the. Uh, the workshop um, if uh, if that doesn't get patched in beta for me I will uh, remake a few of them and, and obviously do lots more of them when we uh, when we come to the full release on November the 5th uh, until then we've got lots of cool stuff coming our first um, pimp my habitat starts tomorrow which is a series where we take your habitats and fix them you'll see that tomorrow and you can see how you can submit your own uh, otherwise like i say lemurs later today it's going to be uh, super fun a couple of uh, glamour shots as i call them at the end here but to be honest with you it's a square building i can't make it look very good there's no animals joddling around or anything uh, anyway there you go thanks for watching till the next one be good bye